Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Battletech Modded. We are playing Rogue Tech today, as per usual. Now, what are we doing today? I would say mm, we're gonna repair our max, and then we're gonna drop on the next mission so that we can finally get more assault mag parts, get more assault mags built, and I need a big engine actually so that I can put something in our new kingcraft that's about to come. I am actually thinking about making it super fast and then maybe slapping an ultra auto cannon 20 on it and something else i think double hyper laser maybe something about that but we will see about it when the time is right first of all we gotta go to the command center and we're gonna pick the first mission of today which is gonna be the buck hunt because it's an assassination in the highlands with good salvage options and i want to get all of them so there we go the question is who do we take we have so many options that is so good can we take the helipolis Give me a second. Uh, no, it must be less than 600. So 30 more tons. We could also upgrade our, our drop tonnage limitation and then finally have the double lands online. But you know what? I think it's fine for the moment. We're just going to play what we have because these guys are really good at what they do. And I want to just keep up with it. Let's go. At some point, I also have to think about, you know, a little bit of tweaks, a little bit of rebuilding. I'm constantly in the process of uh, collecting clan LRMs because they are very weight efficient and you can do so much with them if you're going for a combination of Hydra for overheating targets and then Artemis to actually destroy them afterwards. And if you just shoot like 70, 80, 100 missiles at the same time at a target, it doesn't matter what it is. It most likely is either dead or heavily damaged afterwards. Or, in case of Hydra's, completely overheated. Hydra ammo is, by the way, some kind of pirate ammo that um, deals AOE heat damage. And that is just crazy. Also, we need to keep an eye on uh, Typhon ammo. Keep an eye out for Typhon ammo. Because that thing is an AOE splash acid. Uh, and that's really cool because it can stack really high. 1% per impact. Which means if you have 100 missiles, then you stack acid on the enemies, which gives them a debuff so that they take 1% more damage per stack of debuff. And again, if you have 100 missiles and all of them hit, then that's like 100% increase of damage for the next attack. And that is super good, guys. So, let's see. Um, evasion pips don't go away when you shoot at the target. Yeah, that's kind of the rogue take 101. Alrighty, let's go, guys. I'm hoping for a nice fight that, you know, doesn't take too long. I don't want to invest two hours again. I see a Warhammer 2C. I see a Hoplite. That's a small King Crab. This is my Anand. Okay, and so far I don't see anything else. So, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna just wait for them to do their first turn. Don't they have support lances? Okay. I wanted to say wait for them to take their first turn, since we are in spawn protection still. And then we're gonna attack and retaliate. Shieldron G, Light Gauss Rifle, Light PPC, Hyper Velocity Auto Cannon 10. That thing is actually quite scary. Let's try to destroy it quickly. Look at this little guy. They also bring some missiles in the back. In terms of uh, high value salvage, it's the Warhammer 2C currently and its internals, obviously. That guy's also running double plasma. Ooh, and large heavy lasers. Yeah, I gotta probably prioritize this guy if I can. Well, let's wait for the hoplite as well, though. Reserving action. All right, Hoplite is now online. Confirmed. And he didn't do anything. Perfect. So, where is my melee mech? <laughs> the answer is all the way in the back. I think jumping might be better than sprinting here. No, sprinting is better than jumping. Yeah, definitely. So let's sprint in. Let's see what we can Head do. Target. The answer is nothing. <laughs> and that's it for that mech. Confirmed. However, we have Geezer. Um... Yeah, I do believe that overheating the Warhammer and keeping his damage output at bay is a good idea in general. He has double heat sinks and he has clan double heat sinks on top of that, and he has a pretty good heat management internally. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Let's move around here. And I think. Oh man, we don't have real good. Yeah, we don't have sensors because it's the first round of fight. Hmm. Still, the point stands. I need to overheat this guy. So, we got 52 heat on him now. That's good. That should make it so that he's not shooting at the very least an alpha strike in the next encounter. Let's make some bad decisions so, is it Artemis? I think it's Artemis here. 
but what do we shoot? In this case, we don't have any overheat targets or overheat missiles, so we're gonna just shoot the hoplite with damage. He is guarded, I know, he's not taking all the damage, but what else would we do? We just push forward and then we're gonna see what's coming. These guys are my Hydra LRMs though. Where are you, buddy? What? How did you get up there? <laughs> okay. Uh, weird. Very, very weird. Uh, I cannot shoot my Infernos, my Hydras. But we can shoot the Hoplite yet, yet again. Let's go, and it's a rear attack. Ooh. Structure is exposed. Commander. So, what else do we have? The King Crab. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh, God, okay, let's go here. Let's see if we can shoot the Shieldron a bit. I mean, the hit chance is not bad, but we might hit our friend in the back. Let's shoot, like, five times. Let's go. All right. Nobody got hit? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nobody got hurt here. That's good. And we're gonna keep pushing. Improved MRMC as well. We have so many missiles. We might as well shoot them here. Although having only a 20% hit chance, but, you know, the ammo is fine. And since we are shooting a lot of individual projectiles, I just hope that some of them hit and then that's good. All right, let's keep going. I see a Cascatel. These guys could be scary. Streak MMLs, okay. Uh, but what I do want more is the Warhammer C under control. So he did have his turn already in this round. And he decided to not do anything. That's good. This is how we're gonna win this fight. Seems like they have no supports at all. That's kind of weird. All right. Yet again, a bit more heat. We have to push him over his heat threshold. Yeah. You are completely broken up there. Oh, wait. Oh, what's that? Oh, Bakemono. What? Dude, I didn't even see you. Hello. Uh. I draw. <laughs> what? <laughs> the spawns here are so weird, guys. They are so incredibly weird. Can we overheat this guy? I, I just hope so. I don't know. We will see later. I'm on the clock. What do you want? More, more, more. In the midnight hour, she cried it. Make some bad decisions at high 24, speed. 24. I think I want to try to get the shield run down as much as possible. This guy has a lot of armor, though. So we will take some time until we actually get it Ready done. Mm. Maybe we stand and shoot here. Ooh, ooh, this is good. This is really good. I want this flyer off the board now. We can take down a target, then we might as well do. Hmm. And if we can't, then we don't. Standing by. So more MRMs. We're gonna get out of the water here. Moving to position. It's 32%, it's 35%. We have an actual chance to destroy that guy. Let's do it. Let's try. Okay, looks good, looks good. More, 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 more. Yeah, there goes the Cascatel. That's good. Reporting vehicle destroyed. So this seems to be a very easy yeah, mission. Commander. Um. Oh, I have to run around. This is deep water, oh, I just yeah. realized. Yeah, there is a fail chance on the hot seat cockpit, but I think 5% is doable, unless we get XCOM'd and then we blow up our cockpit. I shouldn't do it. Honestly, this is not worth it. So, Shieldron and his amazing um, ECM is going away. Ow. This guy had an LB-10? Seems like. Alright, Rain! Rain and his autocannon is not gonna do anything here. A bit of Copy mobility that. on this king crab, and it would perform so well. So, rock unjammed. Aye, aye. More hydras on the Bakemono. MRM 40 with Apollo, and two of them. Oh man, that is so good. I want that thing. I want the, M the MRMs as well, and Apollo ammo, that's Apollo. like the Artemis variant of MRM ammo. Let's keep him hot. That's definitely a thing that we need to take care of. On it. Uh, yep. There's also a Warhammer. He has very low initiative, so we can actually help out here Copy that, with the heat. Let's do it. 
Oh, we didn't even need to. Oh, wow. This guy was... He's probably gonna blow up now. <laughs> yeah. Commander? There's so much heat on this dude. Oh my Go god, crazy. Speaking of, I want more here. A second MRM-40 would be very good for our end. So, I think I would even drop the medium lasers maybe, just to have more... More MRMs in general. Okay, this is Warlord. This is also going back to cover. Oh god, we only get one evasion out of that. Might as well just stand still then. This Warhammer can also blow up because he's running a streak SRM. And that thing has ammo and that thing can explode. Hold you so. <laughs> Alright. I'm on the clock. What do you want? So, m -m mayhem Mayhem is following up on what we just did. I think we're just gonna go for the kill now here. Let's go. The hit chance is not the best. Oh, I only have mm, 10 missiles as well. Oops. But it was just enough to knock him down, so we achieved something. Alright, down he goes. He is at 6 out of 7 health. And this guy is dead, period. He's not gonna do anything. Yeah, let's uh, turn off the hot seat. You just move forward. <laughs> Alright, seems like a double episode today, guys. A double mission episode. Since this is super easy to kill now. These guys have not really... Anything. I'll take it back. <laughs> you don't like my catapult, I see. Well, you got a point. I have a, a mech that is on the front that is not evasive right now. That you can shoot without any problems. Good point. Let's try to kill him. And we're gonna move forward. So, where's my catapult? Run! Run, buddy, run! Alright, let's also vigilance. And we're gonna keep shooting. LK SRMs. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, the basic sensor is crit. The good thing is we have enough. We definitely have enough in terms of... Um, in terms of initiative to follow up on what we just did. We might just want to shoot Artemis here. Let's do it. Hey, got him down. That is super valuable. Cool. So, now that the ECM is off the board as well, we can... We can do something like this. Acid, 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 acid. Very nice. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Oh, mayhem is also too slow. I need to overhaul this conquistador. I think it's not really good anymore. Let's go for headshots. Let's see. Nothing. Good to go. Rain is also just too slow. Moving Roger. forward anyway. Let's go. And that's the second explosion. He is still here though. Wow. Commander? That is crazy, guys. That guy is still there. It's a stick. It has no weapons anymore and has no arms and no side torsos. But it's still there, so we have to take care of it. Cool. So they took the bait. They went for the Rulok proximity, attacking the closest target, and that was good. The other guy didn't do anything. Perfect. Standing by. On my way. Hello. I want to shoot you with my weapons. Oh, and here you can see the acid kicking in. We usually deal 8 damage per missile, and we now dealt 10. That was good. Alright. Let's make him go. Very good. So we have two targets that are basically under control because they are massively overheated. What's up, boss? Uh, one is the Warhammer 2C, one is the Obakimono. Let's kill them then. Confirmed. Hello, mister. I got some lasers and some incendiary. Let's just shoot you. Mm. 
we did not destroy. What? I mean, we got a head hit, but what? I didn't expect that. But it's interesting because we can now do something like this here. Let's go uh, SRM Inferno. Shoot like 25 missiles. It might be too much even. Okay, let's shoot center to also try to get some crits. Yeah, these missiles only deal one damage each, which means the structure is maintained. And we get the kills anyway because of the critical engine destruction. This is acid. And a bit of standard. Let's go. Not bad. Strider has nothing. Taking a protective stance. Mayhem has. You know what? All right. Let's get Mayhem does the same thing again, but with. Uh, well, we only have LKLRMs. That might be good enough anyway. Let's try. You got a crit. I didn't see what it was. Oh, and a knockdown. This, this guy is not gonna go anywhere anymore. We even have six health on the head. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm gonna take Dead Eye. Alright, enhanced imaging is on, so we can try to get another headshot. Let's see. And that's the core. Okay, so the engine is destroyed. Cool! Good mission! Our catapult took a bit more of a beating than I wanted it to have, but I think we're gonna just... I don't know, take another mech and slap it on the... Uh, on the team here. Leaving the catapult in the bay. We have some spare mechs around that we can use. Um, the Helapolis, then there's the Mackie. Let's check it out. So, you guys are fine. I could honestly take... A bunch of these parts and be fine with it. Seriously. A Warhammer 2C would be a great addition to the whole scenario here. That's a good mech. Uh, heavy laser. Clan heavy laser is better, I'd say. It's definitely better than our bombast laser. Oh, they have a negative one accuracy penalty. It doesn't make it that great then anymore. But it's, an, it's just four tons compared to the... I think seven that we are using for the bombast, so we'd save three tons for the same damage output and about the same range. That's good. There's a plasma clan cannon, a clan plasma cannon. Hmm, nice. Two XL engines that we could pick. Okay, just for the money. Clan exchanger is always good. Let me see what else. Uh, jammer, single heat sink cooling, another tracker sensor, but we have enough of them. And then there is ammunition. Interesting. That's very interesting. So do I take the mech parts? But we have so many mechs to build already. I don't think I need to. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna go for the XL engines and I'll take the exchanger for a value pick here. And <laughs> we have one still lying around. We can then take the core for more money. Or something that is bigger than... Than the core. Maybe the C3 master unit for 1.9 million. The streaks are also worth a bit, but mm, not really. Light PPC, no. The heavy laser? Maybe the heavy laser. Okay, so we don't need the exchanger, seemingly. I'll take the heavy laser then. Or 1.9 million sea bills. Screw it, I'll take the money. Ah, uh, uh, no, yes, no, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do it like this. So, what do we get? Uh, a streak MML5. I definitely sell that. Selling the engines right away as well. Artemis, I don't need. Lots of heat sinks. How many doubles do we even need? I think I keep the clan ones, yeah, but ah, whatever. Basic sensors and plasma ammo. Cool. So that was a nice money grab here. And I would say, since we have a lot of time left still, we're gonna dive into the second mission right away if we can. Let's do it. If we leave the catapult at home though, I would kind of fall behind in my overheating power. We would get a bit more direct damage coming from Ameki, coming from the Helapolis, but at the same time... I don't know, if there are so many enemies on the board, and we are not able to overheat them all together, this might be a problem. But I should phase out the catapult at some point anyway. It's not that great anymore. It's, it's a 65 ton mech. Yeah. Let's 
kind of drop it at some point. It's a good mech, don't get me wrong. It's well equipped right now. And it has a role, a specific role in the in the land that it fulfills. Hmm. Alright, let's see. I mean, we have to wait for the six days anyway. Because we got more damage on the king crab. No, wait. Ah, this is the king crab that we are building currently. Ooh. I'm going to supervise the catapult. Yep. <laughs> They're building um, little catapults out of spoons and so on. Alright. So we don't need to wait for the king crab. We just need to wait for poet. Cool. Drive upgrade machine shop. Wait, where's the machine shop? Command console? What's the machine shop? We can get training simulator 3. Ooh. Okay, I think I want it. But it's currently... Something is currently under under construction. Oh, I think it is the machine shop that we are building right now. Yeah, good. So, we are not building anything on the Argo. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mech bay real quick, because I want to see how far my king crab is. I mean, it would be cool if we could actually put... Why not? Why not put the stuff from the catapult on the king crab and add something more? Oh, because it only has one missile hardpoint. Let's see. This guy needs a fusion engine and... And, and an engine upgrade. We have a double XL lying around, guys. Double XL engine. We could get so bonkers on that. Let me see. A 340 core. That seems good. 64 out of 100 tons. What is happening if I do that? 69. So we would save 5 tons for a lot of slot investment. Oh boy. I think it's clan XL engine here. At any point. We armor up as well. That's important, and it's already... It's already 14 days. Do I want the King Crab or do I want Baba? That's the question here. Baba or not? Baba can take... Weapon mounts. Do we have weapon mounts? We do have a lot of weapon mounts lying around. This guy can only hold upper actuators. But it's a command mech, which is really good. Plus one initiative is absolutely great. And then increased resolve gain for the landsmates. It's super cool. It also comes with chameleon LPS and a sheath beacon already. Difficult. It's a real, real tough decision that we have to make here. I think I want to postpone that. What I want to do is I want to armor it up because it's 11 days that need to be done anyway. So, let's wait. I also want to take a look at Baba real quick. Because I want to see what we have in terms of options. Let's actually talk about our options for a second before we get into the next mission. Because I want to I wanna quickly check it out. We have two missile hardpoints on this mech, as well as two ballistic. And then two energy, one on each arm. We could make this an energy mech with the Avenger rifle on top of that. The big problem is that it comes with the hot seat cockpit. So we cannot put a DNI in it. We cannot put an enhanced imaging on it. It will be a bit faster than all of the other mechs though. So we are sacrificing speed for accuracy, basically. I am not too happy with it, I gotta say. This is a good weapon. It's basically a rock that doesn't produce heat. That's great. Because it's an external, handheld weapon. Oh, man. But if we cannot make the thing accurate, what would we do? We would slap MRMs on this thing. Double MRM-40, something like that. Which we don't have. And that's the problem. Our energy weapons are a bit better. We have these... We have these clan lasers. We have two hyper lasers. Okay, so we could do something like this. Double hyper laser. Maybe that's the way to go about it. Double hyper laser weapon mount. Uh, we drop the streaks. Let me quickly sketch a build here. Uh, let's go... Clan XL. Let's go big fusion core. Let's go Roto heat sinks. Makes a lot of sense here. We have nine lying around. Okay, that's really good. That makes the mech extremely cold. Uh, and we need it, obviously. Holy crap, these hyper lasers. Alright, that's good. Oh, what we also cannot take is any kind of exchanger because this is already filled with the Avenger rifle and we have used up all of the special tonnage and we cannot amplify it anymore. It's not possible to put anything in here, which kind of makes the barber bad again. Alright, but that's kind of working. So what if we 
I don't know, put a ballistic weapon on it. It is kind of fast, so we could go with the ultra auto cannon. And then ammo. That could work. We don't have a gyro yet, we don't have structure yet, so we can also upgrade that. Let's... Aha, <laughs> chameleon. We could go with that. Uh, let me see. We have reinforced... Okay, we're gonna take endo steel. Clan. I think I'll also put some engine heat sinks on this. Good. And then we need ammo and we need uh, an ECM kind of thing. Let me take... A warfare sweep would be great here, by the way. Boop, 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 boop. Angel. It is Angel. It's the best thing we can take. Weapon. No, sorry. Ammo. Ultra. 20. Oh, yeah. We have some of them. That's great. We need like five tons, I think. Mm, and now we are falling behind on the slots. So heat sinking is okay. I'd say. How many shots do we have? Five. So we can shoot five times with this currently if I go double taps. This thing has a crazy damage output. An insane amount of damage output. Let me see. Uh, our range damage is 535, which is super good. Let's take medium range. Yeah, 535 is, is really sizable. And it's pinpoint. Keep in mind, guys. You can achieve bigger damage numbers with just splashing enemies. But this is big pinpoint. This is just wrecking things. And it's the Avenger rifle on top of that. I wish I could put an exchanger on this mech. This would actually solve all of the heat problems. Uh, do we have heat armor? We do not have heat armor. So yeah, we have to drop, let's say, two protos. In order to add another two tons of ammo. And then, of course, um, you know, uh, fire control systems and all of that. But they don't take weight, so I'm not considering them right now. So, where is the ultra ammo? There we go. Put four of them in here. So we can alpha strike ten times. And... Yeah, the last ton is probably gonna be... I don't know. What about a gyro? Can we... Do we have an ultralight gyro? Melee, XL. That's all. That's all we got. It's bad. <laughs> so yeah, the build is wacky. We still have some room to upgrade armor here. Okay, that works. So the build is wacky. It would work, I think, but it's it's hard to make happen. It's really hard to make happen. Also, it costs us a lot of money. But yeah, I would say we are not taking the Baba into account currently. I think the King Crab is better. It has higher priority because it has more options and will probably perform better over the course of the game. Um, we will try to get Baba, uh, Baba, Baba, Baba Yaga at some point, but currently, I don't, I don't see it. That's the thing. This is good salvage and good money. We're playing tag team. We are playing with the regular squad again, and we are going in. Let's check it out. It's urban environment. Man, I hope that we are not getting too many frame rate issues here. I have reduced the quality. I have reduced the, the overall settings already. But hey, the urban environments are taking so many resources, especially when combined with Rogue Tech. So I just hope that you get an enjoyable, an enjoyable mission here. Cool. I think we are actually really getting ahead of the of the of the eight ball, so that we can finally go for these super heavy missions. It's looking good. Tonnage wise, we are well set. What we now need is specialized builds that help us destroying these big guys quickly, as in really quickly. We don't have a tank yet. I mean, not a tank like a like a vehicle. I mean like a tanky melee or frontliner. That has a Warface Sweet Mark II that scrambles the enemy sensors while also giving them a negative accuracy. That sticks to the front line, has a crazy amount of evasion, as well as maybe even Chameleon Armor. So that it is not getting hit, but if so, it can soak up a lot of damage. And is attracting fire all the time, so that the other guys can concentrate on delivering the damage. I think this is a, a thing that we are still lacking. Maybe we need two of them. And the way to get them is either Harshal. Harshal is self-repairing armor, which is great, but you don't repair probably that much. Not enough compared to what you would receive. So it's really good if you can drag the game, if you have a lot of long-range engagements where the hit chances are low and you only occasionally get hit and then repair up again. But I think in the super heavy missions, sometimes you just need to overwhelm enemies quickly and you need to push them aggressively. And I am lacking mobility currently and I'm lacking the ability to go and 
push hard and also maintain a good chunk of evasion while doing so. So this is a thing that we have to kind of specialize at some point. So I'm looking at superchargers, I'm looking at mechanical jump jets that we didn't get yet. These things are super good. All of you who are watching my Twitch playthrough, you know what I'm talking about. By the way, you can follow me on Twitch, link is down below in the description. I'm also having a separate playthrough there, because I don't want you to, um, you know, mess up your, uh, your viewing behavior. Because you have to go on Twitch to follow the storyline. So, therefore, Twitch and YouTube are completely separated. Alrighty. Let's go in. Urban environment. We have the texture bug. I'm sorry for that. Here comes our friendly lands. They need to survive here, that's important. We gotta keep them... We gotta keep them happy and alive. What? That's a juggernaut. Love it. Lots of mech shots. Catapult with racks and machine guns. Nice. The Shadowhawk 2C with AP Gauss and Plasma. Oh my god, that thing is cool. And, of course, an Annihilator. Yeah, we're gonna win this. We're definitely gonna win this. Question is, how quickly and how much damage will we get over the course of this? So enemies are here. So we have basically two vectors, like two streets, pushing over into their direction. Uh, and you are moving here. So that's an Emuit. That's not that crazy. It's a light. Oh, no, it's a medium mech. It's a Raptor, also a medium mech. A stealth, a medium mech. An archer, okay, heavy mech. Oh, there's big stuff. Oh my god. That's a stone rhino. We have negotiated for four, right? And a king crab, quad zero, and an imp. Oh, nice. It doesn't have a model? Wait a second. That looks like a special imp model. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The imp, the 100 ton urban mech. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! So good. So, so good. Look at that. It's a big, big urban mech. It's a big trash can dome kind of mech thing. Alright, and then there was a Warhammer 2C, right? No, in Atlas 2. So yeah, lots of small stuff, the Vanguard, and then the big guys are coming out of the back. Alright. Uh, wait, these guys have spawn protection still. Let's wait for them to make their move. Or do they? Got it. No, wait, we are in the first round. Like, no, the second round. So they should have come out of spawn protection already. Let's check it out. This looks like a very interesting fight. Alright, Archer 4M. Oh, he's shooting the Annihilator. Ready for orders. Yeah, um, Catapult gets 3 evasion. Roger. I hope that we're not dying. And we have no hit chance on the guy in the back. Hmm. We have a little bit of a hit chance on the guys on the front. We need to really play on vision here. Our sensors are super scrambled. And I obviously want the rapier off the board, since that guy brings mm, annoying stealth technology. Let's go. On on. We got some solid hits, especially on the legs. Alright. Okay, can the king crab do something already? It can. But here's the thing. We have the chance to hit our friends in the back, so I'm gonna go Warlord to mitigate that a little bit. And I want this guy off the board. Yep. That was good. And we hit him, and we killed him! Did we lose armor? Yeah, but that sacrifice had to be made. I think this is more important to get these guys off the board now than, you know, preserving a bit of bag armor. It's okay, you got one solid armor plate. In the right side. That's fine. Pew pew pew. AP Gauss rifles. The plasma sadly did not connect. Man, I would really like to overheat that archer. He's running Artemis ammo. That's why it's just a bit scary. He has pretty good accuracy with that. But hey, let's go. Turn 19. It is the stealth. Does the Arctic Cheetah also have any kind of stealth armor? I think this might be a stealth lance, but the archer wouldn't fit in. Hmm, interesting. We definitely have to deal with these guys early so that we can take out their ECM and their sensors and all of that. Mask on. All right. Yeah, blow up your legs, please. Cool, solid. 
The, the quad zero king crab is a double AC20 king crab, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and an LRM15 and a large laser. I'm on the clock. So that thing is pretty want? vanilla. Um, at the same time, it also has two AC20s. Alright. Is it Artemis SRMs here? I think it is. We have a 30% hit chance that will be amplified with the Warlord skill. And we have more damage here. Than the LRMs, obviously. Good clustering. Ooh, he's almost knocked. Well, who needed salvage anyways? That's good. Annihilator. Just completely destroying the city. That's what annihilators do. They Ready annihilate. Five. Hmm. Alright. We are engaging from the side, which should result in a knockdown now. Maybe it's even Target a kill. Let's check it out. We have enough ammo. And that's the side to also destroy it. Cool. Take. Take that, yeah. He's down on the ground. So that means we have easy game against the Imuit. The problem is the stealth still. The thing is really hard to hit in general. Catapult pirate. Coming in with a follow-up on the Imuit. That's really good. That's much appreciated, man. But we still have to shoot it probably. Or maybe we don't shoot it at all. We're under heavy fire. Wait. He killed the catapult. Or the Shadowhawk? No, wait. Shadowhawk is it. He killed the catapult! Uh. I think that was. Was that a headshot from a Stone Rhino? No. Stone Rhino still has its active turn. I have no. What? The Atlas. But why? Aye, aye. I gotta say, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I am uh, a bit intimidated by what just happened. And because of that, I'm gonna try to overheat. Oh no, this is not overheat. Oh god, I didn't click correctly. Oh well. I guess we're starting to deal damage against the Atlas now. <laughs> I wanted to overheat. <laughs> didn't go for Hydras. Oh man, I was... Did he just jump? Oh crap! Dudes? Are you okay? Are you fine? Standing by. You need to enable your... Your thing now. Go. Sprint. Going full throttle. So we could shoot... No, we could shoot the stealth with the combat shotgun. Not a bad hit chance, but I think I just want to get the emo with down now. Alright, let's do that. So that nobody has to shoot him at all anymore. We're gonna go with our low impact uh, ranged weapons against a target that down. has, you know, very low priority. And then uh, all of the other guys can now shoot whatever is coming from the back there. Confirmed. Holy macaroni. Okay. Double time, let's go. So this is definitely Inferno now. Also sensor locking makes sense here. That was just an LB-10. No, what shot them? Double Ultra, lots of LRMs. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Stone All Rhino. Right. He also got a good chunk of heat already. And he is in the center of this, so I hope that my Inferno will impact the other guys as well. And it does. You can see the little ones here on the Atlas side. Alright. So, Stone Rhino is about to overheat. A shutdown and a headshot would be so good here. I need to take the Stone Rhino, just because it's a Stone Rhino. It's so good. I love that thing. That was the Juggernaut, right? Wow! 71 damage from the lasers. That was... scary. As much as I want to bring my cat to the front, I think we're gonna go into the side of the Atlas. Or the side of the Stone Rhino. And shoot some more Infernos. SRMs, yeah, like that. Let's go. He's trying to keep him under control. I like that everything's spread here. The whole fire, or the whole, the whole park is on fire there. Uh, Conquistador can definitely push them relentlessly, easily. This is a very good hit chance against the stealth, I gotta say. But these guys are more important now. So he's overheating. I'm gonna also try to get the... What's the imp running? 
Hmm, a Gauss rifle. Was it a Gauss to the face? I don't know. What's my hit chance against the King Crab? The answer is it's bad. Again, stealth is good here because we can shoot on sight. I will just rely that we gotta get enough of uh, heat on this Atlas now. Let's see. That is something. Yeah, he's overheating. What do you need? And we still have. Wait a sec. We can sprint in here. That gives us a plus four difficulty to hit, but also a plus four difficulty to get hit. And we are shooting indirectly against the King Crab now. With the Hydras. I don't care about that. I don't care about my hit chance. Because we are relying on the splash completely. Nice. So, King Crab should also be overheating. Yeah, mildly. We could dump a little bit more. Comes the Archer. He is accurate. But, I have AMS. This is kind of keeping us alive right now. Anyway, rain. Oh no no no! I want to, I want to go here. Understood. Moving fast. Because as we saw earlier, we we have a pretty good hit chance on the stealth, a pretty better hit chance on the archer though. Yep, it's the archer. He's already damaged. <laughs> and this building is just crumbling. My god, we were dropping on the city here, and we are just leaving a trail of destruction. Sorry. <laughs> like, look at that. It's a disaster. It's an environmental disaster. It's an economic disaster. It's, uh, um, it's just bad. We are the bad guys here. You are the good guys. I, I can pretty much agree on that. Still wonder what the catapult got here. Why it did get destroyed. I think the only reason... Could be a headshot. I don't. I cannot think of anything else because big artillery would have also impacted the other guys. So what's coming now? I think it's the stealth thinking about what it wants to do. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yep, he's running away, and now we will never see him again. All right, Clan Borok. He comes the imp. Ooh, he didn't do anything. Skipper. Oh, this gives us options. We're also gonna take cover here because, you know, it's better. And we are only shooting indirectly anyway. I'm seeing new contacts. Wait. We've already seen them. What are you talking about? We we know about them. Don't worry. It's okay. Ten four. So this is gonna be affecting the imp and the atlas. And now we have them on the control, I think. This looks good. The Atlas is mildly overheating only. But I also wanted to make sure that the Imp is not shooting anything here. Question is, what is the Stone Rhino gonna do? What is the King Crab gonna do? We will figure out soon, because it's their turn. Good shot, Shadowhawk. Not. Yeah, Commander. So the next question is, do we need our hot seat here? I think I want to alternate between them, between uh, hot seat rounds and regular rounds. Understood. Moving fast. All right, Mr. Archer. Let's shoot you a bunch more. Yeah, the Archer is gonna be my next prime target, and with a bit of luck, we're gonna. Oh, our annihilator might follow up with LBXs, destroying his side torso there. Headshot. Crazy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Awaiting orders. Yo, Poet gets four evasion here. This should be fine. And I have the feeling that we need to drop some more Infernos on the King Crab. We'll go. More, 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 more. All right. So everything's on fire. Juggernaut going for Archer. Because that's what... Uh oh, makes sense. Oh wait, he was running a lot of mag shots, right? Yeah, this is why it's lagging right now. Yep, good shot. But we didn't get the ammo explosion, sadly. That would have killed the archer completely. So, 
This guy's turn 22. Keep that in mind, guys. The Atlas is fast. And he's gonna start the round here. No, wait. It's the stealth that's gonna start the round. Oh god, the frame rate. Here it is. It's actually in the side. In the side of our friends. I hope that they can defend against the stealth, because I don't want to do anything against that guy right now. He only has a streak 6 and 3 ER medium lasers, so he won't be able to destroy that quickly, I believe. And we have some time to deal with the assault mechs before we go back and go for the stealth. And with a bit of luck, he didn't move that much. With a bit of luck, my friendlies are, are able to deal with him. But also deal with him now. Hmm... Interesting. Atlas was doing nothing. Stone Rhino. Oh, the Imp needs a bit of heat. It's cooking with Bara. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. All right. Let's go. Artemis SRM. LK SRM. Artemis. Do we just all shoot Artemis here? I think it doesn't matter really. This archer is done for. Cool. So I'm not shooting the imp right now because first of all I can't reliably. I I don't have a good line of sight, and the second reason is that we have enough initiative, and I saw earlier that the imp is really low on initiative itself. <laughs> we are too hot. Okay, we shoot him anyway. Every tiny bit counts here. It's important that we keep him, yeah, there, where he is right now. King Crab is fine. Cool. So we got these guys under control. That's the thing I really like about this build here. Let's shoot the imp a bit more. The Atlas is gonna get impacted as well. Yeah, this is crowd control, guys. Good to go. And you know what? I want to actually start shooting this dude. All right, 44 damage. With a bit of luck, I'm just waiting for the the shutdown. Who was shutting down? The imp. We lost we lost line of sight on the imp, so he is not on our sensors yeah. anymore. Um, you know what? If we can get line of sight here, we can use our Artemis and just kill this dude. Roger. That's it. Alright. The little leg before it explodes. It's kind of giving away what's coming next. Commander. Alright. So, MRMs. Yeah. What about MRMs? Incendiary MRMs. I, I don't know what to shoot anymore, honestly. I should have waited here. Definitely. Alright, let's go for the king crab. The more heat we produce, the higher the chance that the ammo goes off. Great. King Crab down. Stone Rhino shut down. Oh, please, friendlies, don't spoil it. Waiting for orders. Uh, Strider, I don't know what to do with you yet. Let's wait. Wait, Strider was the last one anyway. Yeah, correct. Cool. They're going for the Atlas. Man, I want that Stone Rhino. I want it so bad. Let's check it out. Annihilator, don't you dare. Holy shit. Okay. Keep doing what you are doing there. What? They just headshot the Atlas. Okay. Randomly. That guy was not shut down. He was not going for a cold shot there. Oh, Stone Rhino is also half dead. Uh, crap. Hmm, alright, so we won't get all of the parts uh, anyway. <sighs> Let's move! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. And that is a knockdown. That's good. So... Do we just take the Atlas then? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Holy, holy macaroni. Okay, we are not shooting the big missiles, only the smaller ones, because each individual missile launcher has 
one chance to hit the head when you're going for a cold shot. What's up, boss? Uh, yeah, this would be good if we could get a hit on him. Eh. Alright, let's go here. Roger. Try to not hit our friends. It's 18%. Fire. Oh, wait. Stone Riders have reduced damage, right? They have kind of like this hardened armor thing. It very much seemed like it. Confirmed. So I, I should go for more individual damage instances here. Ah, uh, not great. Yes, Commander. Oh, it? Can you do it? Okay, we see the imp again, but I don't think he's gonna do anything. Let's go for more headshots. Let's go. Firing on Ooh, this might not work out. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, we are just lacking the precision right now. I'm on the clock. What, do you, what do you want? I want... I want you to actually... Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. Oh, Imp was also shutting down. Oh, that's interesting. It's imp interesting. I will go for... Yeah, the Stone Rhino, though. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it like this. We might just destroy now. I mean, it's the engine destroyed, which means we got the parts. But it's only like three, I believe. We got the head again. You are a crazy person. I gotta say. What? This guy is a headhunter. Wow. That is insane, guys. Mm -hmm. Structure exposed. That's okay, I don't want the imp. I just want to destroy it. Receiving you. Location confirmed. Location is the head. Let's go. Right. Imp down. Pilot ca oh pilot incapacitated. How many assault make parts will we get here? Picked parts and random parts. We negotiated for 4 out of 17-ish, I think. That was such a great mission. That was like, pick whatever you want. You have free choice. Do you want a behemoth? Uh, not a behemoth. Uh, a stone rhino? Do you want an atlas? Do you want an imp? We have everything on sale today. You just need to grab it. Oh my god. Let's see. It's very good experience here on her. Ooh, I like that she is getting so much of it. That's good. We need Strider to actually push towards the uh, more piloting. Yeah, there's a full Atlas. Atlas 2 was designed by the Hagon SLDF, Alexander Kerensky, some words that I'm just throwing around. We have four, not five imp parts. <laughs> Do we take an imp just because it's funny? I doubt it. Give me my stone rhino. It's four parts of a stone rhino, guys. I think I have to take it. Although there's also some great, sh uh, some great stuff on this here. The LRMs are oh, okay. It's just tens, but still. Well, is it really true that there's good stuff on here? I'm browsing through it, and nothing really catches my eye. Nothing. Leg jump jets are fun. No. No, you know what? We'll take four Stone Rhino parts. But the Atlas 2 is also pretty good, though. I want the Stone Rhino more than anything, though. Yeah. Let's take it. Stone Rhino! Alright, and with a bit of luck, we also get some Atlas parts on top of that. Let's go. I see one Imp, one King Crab, one Anubis. Oh, and there we stop? Man, I was hoping for more Atlas parts. All right. Uh, we got a fusion core, though. We got a defensive gyro, mask, a standard fusion engine, and some dead fire SRM ammo. Okay. Sell some stuff real quick. AC-20 can go. Um, fusion core. And yeah, we're gonna keep the 300 around. Why not? All right, guys. That was a good mission, though. I really enjoyed that one. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.